Welcome to Wheels Donlin Showtime, our series where we will tackle industry trends and hot topics surrounding various fleet management events. Hello, I'm Erin Ibrahim, one of the regulatory compliance experts for Wheels Dial, and I'm here to answer your regulatory questions. Most recently, y'all had a lot of questions about what is CARB and does it apply to your fleet? So let's start with point one. What is CARB? States have played a leading role in climate change and mitigation in the United States. The same is true of provinces in Canada. In California, this charge is led by CARB which stands for the California Air Resources Board. In other words, this is California state agency that's responsible for monitoring and regulating greenhouse gas emission sources. CARB sets annual emission caps and offers incentives to encourage businesses like yours to maintain and operate a fleet that limits its emissions that are impacting air quality and the climate at large. CARB's rules apply to businesses and vehicles registered in the state of California. These rules, especially those related to heavy duty vehicles, engines, trailers, greenhouse gas emission standards are part of a larger sustainable freight transport initiative in California. This initiative was designed to reduce the very greenhouse gas emissions and other environmental impacts associated with freight transport. Violations of these rules or use of vehicles deemed to contribute excessive pollutants may expose you, the motor carrier, to sanctions, including financial liability. If you're wondering why your business outside of the state of California is subject to CARB requirements, it's because at least 13 states have adopted California vehicle standards and others are in the process of doing so. Why? Well, to return back to the beginning, it's to mitigate climate change through transportation land use policy. Heavy duty vehicles, particularly those powered by diesel engines, are a significant portion of the emissions from highway vehicles. The combustion of fossil fuels such as gasoline and diesel to transport people, property, and goods was the largest source of CO2 emissions in 2019. Over the years, CARB's become the recognized authority on the regulation of motor vehicle emissions and became the most important influence in developing a federal program. Similarly, Canadian authorities have codified emission cap regulations to also combat climate change. For example, many provinces have codified language where emission control caps are allocated per fixed variables, which include engine size, vehicle model and year, and gross vehicle weight rating. If you've questioned your fleet's regulatory compliance, anything from emissions regulations discussed here in this video, in the states or provinces that your business may operate, may not, future operations, to whether you need a USDOT number or NSC number with certain types of operating authority, or what jurisdictions impose a highway use tax, what is that? Enter any fleet or trucking questions below and your questions and my feedback might be featured on our next episode. I'll see you then.